Hi everyone, I'm Marie and we are coming to you live from Living Felt because it's Happy Wooly Wednesday! Wednesday! Do you know that this is like our favorite time of the week right now when we go live with all of you guys? I think the only other way we'd like to have it is to have you all here somehow, some way. That would be really fun. But thank you guys for tuning in today to the live show. We have a very special guest, my dear friend Amy Long, and she brought with her a blessing of narwhals. And there's even more than you can see behind me. So we're going to have a chance to visit with Amy. You'll get to see more of her narwhals up close and personal and learn about her new class coming. So we're so glad that you're here. I want to say hi to a few folks. Hi to Samantha in Georgia and to all the folks in Georgia. A lot of you are tuning in from Georgia today. Good fibery place to be, I guess. Stephanie in Minnesota. Hi, Erna in all the way in Norway. Hi to Carol in Michigan. Also Dawn in Michigan. There's a few of you there in Michigan today as well. Hey to Audrey in the UK and Bunny also in Georgia. Scott all the way in Washington. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Jeanette in Massachusetts. Lyrell in Idaho. Judy in Missouri. Diane in Rhode Island. Everybody, thank you so much for tuning in in the States, across the pond, wherever you are, we're so happy you're here. So today we have a really fun show for you and I want to encourage you to ask questions. This is a great opportunity to ask questions about our topic. And if you do, your name goes into the magic hat and we're gonna draw prizes at the end for everyone who's chiming into the conversation. But if you're watching the replay, you can also leave comments down below because hey, we draw prices from there too. And we read everything that you guys say. It's always really good feedback. So on that note, last week, we actually did a sewing project with our wet felting fabric. And we have two prizes to give away. Those go to Debbie Loveland and Jennifer Woolrich, great name. <laughs> Jennifer, I called her Jenny, didn't I? <laughs> Jennifer Woolrich, we're just on a nickname basis now. But you gals win a hand-selected fiber assortment uh, for your wet felting adventures and we're gonna send those out to you. So if you're not in our database for any reason, make sure to go to the contact us page on our website and give us your contact information and we'll make sure that we get those sent out. So without further ado, we have the most magical of fairies and all of Wooly Wonderland here for you today. And they brought some fibery goodness to share. The first up is the magical Miss Fairy Anne. <laughs> Yay! 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 Hey friends, thank you so much for being here with us today. So I've got some, something really fun to share. MC, our MC1 batting is such an amazing fiber. It's great for both 2D felting and 3D felting. We know many of you already love it, um, but if you're, if you're needing some, a pop of a little color, or if you're needing a really great way to get introduced to the MC1 batting, the goodie packs are a great place to start. Uh, they're going to come with 12 colors and a little bit uh, uh, spread across a couple of color families. So no matter what palette you're needing, <laughs> we've got you covered. Um, so this one right here is the MC1 regular goodie bag. It's, it's going to have a couple monochromes, a couple earth tones, a couple purples and berries, summer tones, blues, greens, and it's a lot of fun to create with. Cat Hand says she loves the goodie pack. Oh, thank you, Cat. <laughs> <laughs> Next up is Fairy Alyssa. Woohoo! Hello, everyone. Happy to be here today. Today, I'm going to show you the MC1 Rainbow Goodie. It comes with 12 colors, and this is our current selection of colors right now. It does rotate. Um, we get our wool from U.S. Farmers, and we love to support U.S. Farmers. And Yes. <laughs> All right. Mar Marilyn Giselle says MC1 meets magical creation yeah. number one. It oh, does. Yes. So cute. Awesome. Up next is Fairy Holly. Woo! Hi, everyone. So I have the fall goodie pack, and I love the goodie packs because I'm all over the place and have like 20 things going on at one time, so I must have them all. So the fall goodie pack, this is our, our um, variation in color this time, and we've got some pinks and earth tones and greens and a little bit of yellow, and it's gorgeous and magical, and you can make all things. What, Matt, what did she say? Magical creations? Mag magical creations, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now I have carrot... <laughs> Carrie Fela. Carrie Fela. <laughs> Carrie Kayla. <laughs> Yay! Hey 
everybody. Carrie Fela here. <laughs> Very Kayla. I'm sharing with you our winter goodie bag. It's kind of got some deeper uh, color selections in here. It's really fun. And yeah, just like they were saying, you know, it's perfect for you just need that little pinch when you're working on a project of something. Um, all, all of our MC1 is it's not carbon burned and they don't use any harsh chemicals in it. So it's really fun, really safe, um, really awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I did have a shout out I wanted to share to my husband, Francisco. Hey, if you're watching. Oh, <laughs> hi, Francisco. He hangs out with us on Wednesday sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, um, and I know you're hanging out for the joke. I do have a narwhal joke today, which is very exciting. <laughs> and um, it made me think of Holly. Uh, so, I'm stalling because I'm trying to remember it. Um, why are narwhals so bad at volleyball? <laughs> why are narwhals so bad at volleyball? Because they're always spiking the ball. <laughs> Alright, I'll turn it back over to you, Marie. <laughs> Thank you. And I just see a big round of hearts for the fairies. I love Vicky said that the fairies are good sales girls. <laughs> I agree. And you know, it's just really fun for you guys to get to see a little bit of the fibers we carry. We like the MC1 goodie bags because they're just such a great quick grab and they're even a great introduction to this fiber. We thought it was a good fiber for today because Amy also used this fiber in her Narwhals project. Now some of you may know Amy, you may have been introduced to her before. She has taught another class in our feltingtutorials.com. This is our online school, feltingtutorials.com. Let me pull that up for you. And she designed these adorable uh, bug buddies. We've shared them with you in the past. This is uh, Firefly, I guess. Firefly, he's got his little glow-in-the-dark tail and his little rainbow goodness. And she shows you how to make three different bug buddies in the school and how to make your own hand-painted glass eyes. Lots and lots of fun. But today, Amy is here to share with you her narwhal. So please help me welcome the lovely Amy Long. Yay! Yay! Thanks for being here. Hey! Hey, Amy. Uh, <laughs> so, Amy, tell us, let's show, love, show off some of your cute little narwhals. My little guys here. Mm -hmm. Check them out with their neat little horn and... Yeah. Sweet little faces, yeah. Super, super cute. So we're gonna visit with Amy for a few minutes. Why don't we just grab a chair and sit down okay. and hang out for a bit. Sounds good, cool. Okay, now if y'all have uh, questions for Amy as we are uh, visiting together, we're gonna tell you a little bit about her class and you can ask some questions. I know we even had a question already in the pre-chat, but yeah. let's show them for a second. Let's bring in this little narwhal. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look how cute he is, y'all. So what happened was, Amy, um, I, it was yeah. been over a year now. It's been well over a year yeah. uh -huh. since I saw your first narwhal. Yeah. And you brought him, you actually attended a workshop on something else. What were we making? Uh, it was one of Kiyoshi Mino's classes. Oh, okay. okay. And uh, I, making a narwhal was one of my very first projects that I did on my own without anybody's guidance. Yeah. And uh, a friend of ours, Kelly, who also- Kelly talking. Yeah. Kelly, Kelly. She takes a, hi Kelly. Hi Kelly. <laughs> takes a lot of classes and uh, we're friends. And she said, hey, I saw that narwhal. I yeah. I want it. And mm -hmm. so I brought it into class to show. She ended up buying it and- Yeah. Got a lot of oohs and ahs. That was the first narwhal. narwhal I saw also. And yeah. one day I was flipping through photos, you know, mm -hmm. like we have thousands these days, and I saw Amy's narwhal and uh, invited you to teach the, the narwhal class. So yeah. um, really, really cute. And um, so Cat Hand says, so cute. What an awesome display stand to have it on. And um, let's see. Uh, the, uh, so Jamie wants to know, what are mm -hmm. the horns made of? The horns are made of polymer clay. Mm -hmm. and it's a bakeable clay. What's cool about polymer clay is that it stays malleable until you bake it. Mm -hmm. Doesn't mm -hmm. dry out, doesn't harden. Yeah. So there's a lot of room for error and a lot of room for experimentation. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. In fact, let me, um, I'm gonna show a couple of these, like let's show these horns up a little bit close. So in the class, Amy shows you how to make two different horns yeah. and how to decorate, let me bring this guy in a little bit too, and how to um, decorate them. Really lots of, lots of fun there in this. And we're actually using um, 
a relatively new clay on the market, uh, yeah. which is called cost clay, and we carry it here in the shop. And um, we have right now we have it in three different colors, but they also make colors. So I'm going to start bringing in a, oh, a couple wonderful. of yeah, yeah a couple of colors. But tell us a little bit about working with that with the cost clay, Amy. Cost clay is really fun because you can bend it; it doesn't break. If you happen to drop baked cost clay. It won't shatter. Mm -hmm. It won't chip. Mm -hmm. um, some of these horns are made with Sculpey, and um, so you have to be a little bit careful with them because More rigid. It's rigid. Mm -hmm. um, it's still a little flexible, um, but not much. Uh, but in the really thin areas of the horn, that's where it could chip or break if you drop it. With cos clay, you can bend it right back into shape. In fact, cos clay is used a lot in stop motion animation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. which is really cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I brought some of that here. We, we do have it in the shop, and um, so there's, I think there's four colors, and I only brought two, uh, but they're, they're like in skin tones, and we're selling them. This is how the only way they sell them now are in these one-pound blocks, but we're going to offer, uh, I think we're calling them like um, buddy, buddy breaks so that yeah. you can get a half a block to yeah. try it. Because a little goes a long way. Yeah, a little yeah. goes a long way. And for this narwhal class, there's a complete kit, and we're giving you um, the same clay that you use, yeah. the cost clay, in the kit so that you can try that too. But we do have that in the shop now. Yeah. yeah. And so, um, yeah, so Karen says she never heard of cost clay before, and cost clay is like actually relatively new. I new know on the started, market. Yeah. yeah, they started with a Kickstarter mm -hmm. uh, program, and they're baked. Here in the USA, it's made in the USA, which is fun. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. So, Amy, tell us yes. a little bit about the, the narwhals. Now, I like that they're really, I love their shape. I do, too. Mm -hmm. I do, too. And the shape is, is kind of an organic thing. Uh, if you take my class, you'll see that um, I talk about using the armature, adding the wool, and as you're adding color and firming up your sculpture, it may start to twist a little bit on the armature, which is cool because then it gives your narwhal uh, kind of like a sense of motion. So you kind of like, don't keep straightening it out, let it form itself, and it gives these little guys their own personality. I so agree, I yeah. so agree. And other people agree they like how they're displayed and hanging and they have movement. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is really fun. So, yeah, she'll even give you the deets on uh, some display, uh, the, the display hangers and such in the class. Mm -hmm. And you used our CW1 core wool yes. for this. And I love that you took them different color directions. You can kind of tell that I really like doing the fantasy colors yeah. more than the, you know, the the more realistic colors, even though the realistic colors, you know, narwhals that live in the Arctic near Canada, Russia, and Greenland mm -hmm. will actually develop algae on their back. Yeah. So that that's kind of cool if you're going to make uh, a realistic one, it still gets some fun color on it. Yeah. But once I started doing these guys, I couldn't stop. Yeah. <laughs> so now in the actual, in the online class itself, Amy makes this narwhal. So you'll yeah. learn how to make the realistic one. And once you learn how to make the realistic one using these colors, then you know exactly what to do on, on any of the colors. Exactly. Then yeah. you can go hog wild. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that what we're going to do is for the kit. Now, you can only buy the kit if you take her class. That's the deal with the school. You have to take the class in order to get the kit or the supply list. Um, but... Uh, what we're going to do is maybe add a custom color option oh, so cool. that we'll list, yeah. you know, a handful of colors for you to choose from. And then we can just leave a blank so that if you, like, if you want yours to be, I don't know, orange, then you can pick yeah. you know, something from our MC1 line and make yours any color. Because I have to tell you, like, I love this one. Isn't he sweet? Yeah. Yeah. He's so cute. And the yeah. yellow one, which is mine. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. The yellow one. I didn't make yeah. it. That's the one that I'm keeping now. <laughs> I didn't make it. And yeah. even their little flippers are posable, so you've made them so that they can stand up. And I know y'all yep. can't. Oh, we'll, we'll show them right here. She's made them so you can kind of stand them up on their flippers. There's a wire frame in the flipper. Mm -hmm. um, and so you can kind of bend them. You can bend their flippers out to, to make it give them a little bit more motion. Mm -hmm. And you can also stand them and pose them. Um, on their flippers, so they're they're sturdy enough to hold the weight of the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. So, 
uh, Gunita asks, Amy, do you sketch your creations before or do you just go with the flow? Nope, I freeform. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I don't have a lot of patience with thinking out my projects. I have an idea in my head, but I also know that whatever happens and comes out, there's some magic there. So I always end up really liking my projects. It may not match the idea I have in my yeah. head. Mm -hmm. I don't even bother to write anything down. Yeah. The only thing I write down sometimes are what types of wool I used, what color I used, mm -hmm. the measurement of armature. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah. are the things I write down. But as far as like design, no, nah, I just go for it. But in the <laughs> class, she's going to give you helpers for getting the shape right. So we have yeah. uh, we have diagrams so that you can get your shape. Uh, and you can also see like in the class, and so for those of you who aren't familiar, the school is feltingtutorials.com. That's our online school for felting. We have needle felting and wet felting and nano felting. But in the school, what happens is once the class is live and open, you can watch the class over and over anytime you want. So as long as you're a member of the school, and um, once you roll in a class, as long as you're a member of the school, you can go back to that class and watch the lessons over and over. They're not going to end for you, which and, is really And you nice. can freeze frame too, can't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. You can put it on pause and look at what I'm doing, look at the shape. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look, at, look along the horizon here and see the shape. Yeah. Um, and that, that's helpful too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and she'll, like I said, so she's going to give um, diagrams for that as well and a complete list. So I want to see what other questions uh, people have here. Um, so Susan Martin says, I've never heard of a narwhal, so learning more than I bargained for today. So interesting. <laughs> so tell us something about narwhals. So they live in the Arctic. They live in the Arctic waters, way up north. Uh, they're around 2,000 pounds, 900 kilos. They're a medium-sized whale. They're related to those darling whales, my favorite whale, beluga, even though actually narwhals are my new favorite, really. Yeah. But belugas are so cute, and that's who they're related to. Um, yeah, they're they're pretty unusual creatures. The horn. They, yeah, they're horned. They use that to communicate, to judge. Well, it's still kind of up in the air what they really use their horn for, <laughs> but um, it's it's kind of actually a tooth. Yeah, is it's it the a male? Tooth. It's a tooth. Yeah, that it's grows. a tooth, and it it can judge temperatures and sense things. I mean, crazy. Yeah, um, really, really cool creatures. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. Okay, so uh, let's see. Scott Sadek says he loves the gray one with the face and a smile. <laughs> um, so Marie says they look so inquisitive. Do you use a reverse needle for that blending? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I really like to work with finer needles. Um, I, I really don't like when wool resists needles. Yeah. So I tend to work on the very fine end yeah. of, of needle gauge. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Debbie Garcia Benson says they're so cute. Amy is so knowledgeable. I bet she's a great teacher. <laughs> oh, thank you. I hope, I hope I'm a good teacher. I'm always learning to teach better. And, yeah. <laughs> and Vicky says, is that a banana hanger? No, Vicky, it's not a banana hanger. <laughs> is it? It could be a banana hanger. Uh, one could be. Uh, Linda says she loves the school. Thank you so much, <laughs> Linda. Um, let's see. What else? The pink she cheeks make it such a cute face. I agree for sure. Yeah, yeah, you know, this is really fun. I think that this would be a great, even a second needle felting project for someone who's patient. It might seem kind of large. Uh, but it's it's pretty it's not hard right it's no not this is technically a, this is not difficult. technically hard you just need a little patience mm -hmm. and patience getting your your project nice and firm and the more you felt your color on with gentle stabs the more you get this nice smooth texture yeah and so it's a good exercise in that mm-hmm yeah, really cute. So even if you're relatively new to needle felting, this is a fun project. And, mm -hmm. you know, a, a beginner could do this project. It would require a, just a little more patience to go through the steps. Yeah. But if even if you're more of a skilled felter, I want to tell you, it's going to be a really, a really fun class to take. And I think you said uh, today that you're you're making them much faster than you were. You're able to, because well, you've made... I've made a bunch of them. A bunch, yeah. <laughs> so once you get them down, because these yeah. would make such great... 
baby room decorations, children. Oh, I think so too. And that's where I came up with the yellow. Yeah. Yeah, I thought, what would be a nice color for a baby's room? Mm -hmm. A nice sunny yellow. And I thought, oh, I can totally see a narwhal in yellow in Mm -hmm. a baby's room. That's a great idea. Yeah, I want to grab the yellow one so people can see them a little up close. Let's see, what else uh, do people want to know? Um, What are the eyes made of? Okay, the eyes are actually uh, something that Marie carries here. They're Czech glass. They're about four millimeters, and in my tutorial, I teach you how to stitch them on. It's a very simple thing, Mm -hmm. Um, and uh, it just adds some variety into uh, the making of these narwhals. So you're going to be stitching the eyes, using polymer clay, making simple armatures. So Mm -hmm. um, you learn a few things in this class if you're a new needle felter. Yeah, I think it's just it's just a fun blending of techniques. Now, mm-hmm. someone had asked, could these be used as toys? And if you were going to make them as toys, then the eyes would be the eyes and the horn could not be could not be done like this. If you're going to make them toys for depending on how old the child is. So yeah. if if the child is very young, you can just needle felt the eyes, but you should needle yeah. felt them, you know, very very well. And depending on how old is the child before you use yeah. a clay horn, you know, you could use a different type of horn. But if you made those two changes even for a young child, mm-hmm. yeah, sure, be a lot of fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Yeah, someone said the yellow is so precious, the yellow is adorable. <laughs> okay, so the class now, we have a special going on for the class. The class is available to register now, but the class officially starts Saturday, June 5th. So with that being the case, there's a special going on right now. If you sign up, you're going to save money off the price of the class, and it's already really reasonably priced. And you'll also save on the kit if you decide to get the kit. So there's a link, and we have a resources section, and there's a link uh, for the kits. Hmm, let me think about that. So if you sign up for the class, then what we'll have to do is email you a link for the kit. And I'll look into that tonight, because the resources section's actually, I think, closed until the class officially opens. So we'll have to email you a link for the kit, and we'll absolutely do that. And um, so it officially starts on Saturday, June 5th, but you can register today. And the early bird sale, I think, is only through the 7th. So two days, yeah, two days after it starts. Savings on the class and on the kit. I want to see what else people are saying. Oh, people are really liking the yellow. Um, (laughs) Oh, and so Tammy says, for a child, just make it a beluga, no horn, much safer. No, there you go. Mm-hmm. Oh, and um, Bonnie Johnson says, I thought a narwhal was a fantasy. No, they're <laughs> Isn't real. that cute? Yeah, yeah I real. know, I know. They, they really are adorable. <laughs> Pamela says, narwhals are becoming extinct for three main reasons. Rapid climate change, the reduction in population uh, of the narwhal's primary play, the Greenland halibut. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes. And, um, huh, that's really interesting. Mm-hmm. So people say they don't see where to purchase the class. There's no purchase button. There should be a purchase button. It's an enroll now. So if you go to the Narwhal and uh, if you go to the Narwhal and you know what, I will, I'll double check that, but it should be available now to purchase. It certainly should. Um, Yeah, I'll double check that. Let's see. What other questions do you have for Amy? Is it a uh, live class. It's not a live class. It's pre-recorded. Mm-hmm. So it's not live. It's pre-recorded. That means you can watch it at 11 o'clock at night or 7 in the morning, no matter what yeah. country you're in. Um, you can watch it at any time. And Devin chimed in with that already. And Colleen says she'd like to come and take the class in person again sometime. I think this, oh, would, be a, yeah. this would be a fun class. And Scott says the gray one's still looking at me. <laughs> What's he telling you, Scott? I I know. They're they're so adorable. (laughs) You know, this is just a, this, this class is not only a fun uh, project to make, but it's also just a great, a great little skills builder. And I Mm -hmm. find sometimes that when you have such a big surface area, sometimes it's easy to be a little impatient with getting it all felted flat. So Amy, like me, likes to needle felt, not rock hard, but firm. Firm. Firm, Yeah, firm so that it doesn't misshape when, like I'm giving this a really good squeeze and it's not misshaping. And when you have a really firm under layer basement or your under narwhal, Mm -hmm. then the more smooth your outer layer can be. And, 
Yeah. You just yeah. really broken down this class and made it a lot of fun. Oh, thanks. Yeah. I had yeah. fun doing it. I, know. I loved it. I know. I can hardly wait for her to come back with all her narwhals because she's been making even more uh, since the last time I saw her. Yeah. And I'm excited to see the colors that other people come up with, too. Oh, Don't yeah. I really want to see the colors. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so now with the kit, you're going to get the um, the armature, actually more than you need as far as the armature goes. You're going to get the core wool. You're going to get your choice of top coat. You're going to get the clay. You're going to get the beads. And um, yeah, I think that's everything. Wool, armature, and clay, yeah, is, yeah, all, okay. is all you need. And so you're going to, yeah, you're just going to use... Uh, if you have a little uh, toaster oven or you can use your regular oven if you're not going to bake a whole bunch of clay. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't necessarily have to have something special. But let's see what are any, um, any other questions people have for us today. Marlene Coaster says, what a fun class to do. Uh, Brenda Hodges says, on the fantasy note, did you add that twist or are they naturally that way when it comes to the horns? Okay, when it comes to the horns, with the natural more realistic narwhal, they really do have a twist in their horn. I'm going to show you two different ways of making the horns in my tutorial. Mm -hmm. So there's the real, more realistic twist, mm -hmm. and then this is just purely fantasy. Yeah. This is like just unicorn your unicorn horn, horn and yeah. it's got sparkles on it. So, yeah. Uh, so Gunita says, I love your work and your approach. Oh, thank you. I'm so intrigued with your creative process. Do you usually channel all your energy into one project or do you do multiple projects at once? No, I do one project at a time. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty methodical. I have a list of projects I'd like to make. And now that I've kind of done my narwhals, I'm going to take a break from narwhals and move on to the next one. To the next fun. The next fun project. Um... Candy Wem says, hard to pick a favorite color. What is their natural color? Uh, mottled gray with a hint of green algae on top. So yeah. cute, Amy. I love them. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> y'all, listen, what we're going to do is make sure, I'm going to go make sure that that link is ready. You'll find in the description is a link um, to Amy's class. I know some of you have already clicked on it and found your way over there. I'm going to uh, jump into the school and make sure that link is live. I'm not sure why the purchase uh, link isn't happening, but I think, I think I know why in the back of my head. So um, let me see here. Amy, just for a second, yes. you ask, you answer some questions there. So okay. somebody says, what's next? Tell them what's next. Do a manatee. That's a great <laughs> idea, Scott. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. A manatee would be cute. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's next? Mm -hmm. Donna's asking me what's next. Uh -huh. You'll just have to wait and see, Donna. <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. I have some pretty cool ideas. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Who else? Oh, such nice comments. Thanks, guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Um, what else? I know that, you know, one thing that I, I really like about this project is, um, Amy, Amy, you dress in all black and your hair is all black and you, you can be so serious. But yeah. I think this is you, this is kind of you inside out, all these playful little fun fantasy. Yeah, -hearted. this is where I kind of go wild. Yeah. You know, I'm I a... like that. I do. I like it. I think it, I think it allows you to bring that fun color out and a little playful a expression. Gen X. Gen X art school punk rocker. Yeah. Um, and this is the stuff that floats around in my mind. Um, but Marie has been a great mentor mentor Aww. over the years. You really have. And uh, at one time I sat down with Marie and said, you know, I have a problem with color. I Colors overwhelm me sometimes mm. in my projects. And one way or another you were able to break it down and you gave me some suggestions and you showed me some color palettes of wool huh. things that went to yeah and with the even with the bug buddies you helped me with that and so now i'm still exploring color and learning how to mix different color palettes and so um that's why i just decided you know i made a realistic narwhal i've actually made three of them and i thought but wouldn't they be cute in different colors so I, I started with a solid color, with this yellow. There's no, this isn't I a like heathered it. MC1 color. Right, it's a solid. Yeah, mm -hmm. um, this, this is one of my favorite color, colors. This is Carnival, 
and uh, I mixed a little bit of uh, one of the greens. I can't remember the name of the green. Mm. Ocean green. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. is carnival and ocean green. And in the tutorial, I show you how to mix the colors because you're not actually blending the wools together. You're kind of making what I call a spider web. And you make a web and layer the colors. That way, that way it's very, very subtle. Mm -hmm. And you have a lot more control. And so um, I'm still... I'm still kind of reaching out through the world of color. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Yeah, and, and for exploring. Th for those of you who aren't seeing the enroll link, there's a reason. You have to register as a student in the school first, and that's absolutely free. So you want to be uh, a registered student before, you need to be a registered student before you can enroll. So just join the school, go to the join page. You can see it at the top, you can see it at the bottom just set up initially your account and then when you make your first purchase then you have to enter your contact information on that purchase screen because sort of the student database and the dire buyer database they're just a little bit separate but register for the school first click the join it's free absolutely we don't spam you at all you will see even living felt we do a newsletter once a week that's it yeah. And um, we're not bombarding you with emails. The school's the same way. Occasionally we come out with a special email, but y'all are actually seeing this first. We haven't even notified the student database yet. <laughs> you're seeing this firsthand. And um, so join, and then you're gonna see the enroll link, because the only way you can enroll is to actually uh, sign up for the school. But it's free, no cost there, and I'm really looking forward to this. Now, hey, there is a class chat also, so what you can do once the class gets going, say hi in the class chat, Amy yeah. will say hi. It's a place where you can ask questions, you can post what you're working on, your other students will feed in, you know, with you, at, they'll answer, help answer your questions. You can post your narwhal, and you can even earn a narwhal certificate. So if you complete, <laughs> if you complete the class, awesome. you get your narwhal badge. But yes. if you post your narwhal in your class chat or anything that mm -hmm. you complete in the school, then you get your very own narwhal certificate. Uh, yeah, and that's just fun. That's cool. I love it. <laughs> Absolutely love yeah, it. Yeah, it's adorable. Yeah. And I just thank you so much for sharing this project with us, Amy. Absolutely. I'm in, I'm in love with them, <laughs> for sure. Great gifts. You know these things would sell like hotcakes at a fair. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can make them in all sizes. And I think a baby mobile made of little narwhals would be Maybe that's next. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or a lamp with a narwhal in the middle. Would it do all be sorts of things? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Or a carousel of narwhals. Car oh, around. that's a cute idea. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. That would be yeah. that would be the good baby mobile is the carousel yeah, of carousel narwhals. Carousel of narwhals. Okay, so we hope you guys are get busy working on your blessing of narwhals. We're gonna go for a swim right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank you so much. Oh hey, we're getting away prices. I was about to say goodbye, but we've got some prizes <gasps> to give away. Prizes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you know what we're gonna do? I'm gonna, let me grab the the prize hat lady. I'll see if there's any final questions. Um, Joan says, "Did you fix the certificate problem yet?" Joan, thank you for asking. We fixed one of them, and we have to go back and fix the other. You can still display your certificate, but but they weren't printing pretty. So um, Donna says she's registered and purchased a class. She doesn't see the purchase thingy. So just log in, uh, Donna. I can see it when I log in. And you know what? I, I'll jump off and double, double, double check it, but I just logged in while Amy was answering questions and I saw it there. Um, and I'm gonna go grab the, people are saying the registration links are missing for several of the classes. That's interesting. I promise to give it a look right after here. Let me go get the prize hat. Because I know the right. Oh, here it is. Look, it magically appeared. Okay, Amy, Woo! we're going to give away some prizes. Awesome. Now, today, okay. what we're giving away is um, we're going to give away um, good MC1 goodie bags, the things that the girls showed off in the oh, beginning. Yeah. So, y'all can choose your very own goodie bag. Okay, so you draw a name and I'll draw a okay. name. Okay. Are you ready? We're looking at the stage. Oh, wait. Okay, no. I grabbed two, two by accident. Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold I have on. one. Okay, I've got one. Okay, you've got one. And we're we're up here now. We're at the tall at the tall camera. Okay. Who do you have? Rusty Steel. Oh, and I have Alyssa Voorhees. Congratulations, Yay. guys. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We hope to see you in Amy's Narwhal class yeah. on the school. We hope that you guys will join us um, on Facebook, join our group. We hang out there, we share stuff all this week. If you make something with us, tag us on Instagram and follow Amy at Felted Fantastics. Yes, you can find me on Facebook, 
Felted Fantastics. You can find me on Etsy. Same yes. thing. Felted Fantastic. So some of these narwhals yeah. will be appearing in her Etsy shop, right? Yes, and you can them. also mm -hmm. find me on Instagram. Same thing, Felted yep. Fantastic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. And you can shop with us here. And if you're looking for the supply kit for this class, there's only one way to get there, and that's to take the class. So uh, it's open for sale now. I'm going to go double, double, triple check those links, and we hope to see you guys there. Until then, you guys, thanks for playing. Next week, we're going to the beach. So get your flip-flops, get your hat, get your blanket and your needle felting supplies. We have a fun project for you next week. We're going to beach it. Ooh. Okay. See you next time, guys. Be really good to yourselves. Thank you. Bye.